guys you welcome to my channel today we want to start to look at the basis of calculus before we are going to start calculus itself we are going to look at trigonometry today but i'm not yet to define trigonometry or to tell you the meaning of trigonometry if you are interested to know what trigonometry simply means how we come about trigonometry check the description box below i have a link for you from math domain if you really want to learn trigonometry like you are in a school syllabus. I also have the link for you there by Jerry Springer. He also have a what a fantastic video on trigonometry. Okay, I'm going to start because I just want this course to serve as a basis for your calculus class. I'm going to start from trig ratio. Let's see how it goes. Let's take for instance that uh, we have uh, a right angle triangle like this, and this is A, this is B, and this is C. Now, the first thing we need to know is what are the names given to the sides of this triangle. Anywhere your angle 90 is facing is known as the hypotenuse. Now, we have two angles here, angle A and angle C. If you are considering angle C, like we are going to be doing in this video, we are going to consider angle C. Then anywhere angle C will face is going to be its opposite, and the third side will be its adjacent, like this. And if you are considering angle A, here will be what? Angle A, and anywhere it face is going to be the opposite of A, then the other side will be adjacent. I think that is clear. Good. Now, let us give what? Each side a name. After knowing that this is hypotenuse, this is adjacent, and this is opposite. What will be the value of this? This should be small letter A, because that is where capital letter A is facing. Here will be small letter B because that is where capital letter B is facing. Now pause the video and tell me this place will be what? Thank you. That is uh, small letter C because that is where capital C is facing. Now, what is now trig ratio? Trig ratio is the ratio of the size of a right angle triangle with respect to the angles that you are considering. So when you are looking at the ratios of the size of the triangle of a right angle triangle. In respect to the angle you are considering, you are dealing with the trigonometric ratio. Is that taken? Okay, haven't know that. We have just what? Three trig ratios. And that is what? The sine, the cos, and the tangent. Then they all have what? Inverse. That is, they have reciprocal. The reciprocal of sine is what we call the cosine. The, the, the co cosec, rather. Okay, because the word sine then cosine, then we have that tangent, okay? So the inverse of sine is what we call cosecant, and the, the inverse of cosine is what we call what the second, and the inverse of tan is what we call the cotangent. Are we together? So we abbreviate them by saying cosec, sec, and cot. Is that taken now? Then let's look at that now. Now we have the first one to be sine, so we are considering this angle, theta. So we say sine of theta. What is the definition for sine of theta? So opposite. Opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of theta is going to be what? Opposite is what? C. And our hypotenuse is B. Then the next one is cosine, which we always abbreviate as cos. So cos theta will be ka adjacent. Adjacent over the hypotenuse. So our adjacent is what? A, and our hypotenuse is what? B. Then the third one is the tangents that we have abbreviated to be what? Tan. So we have tan of theta to be toa, opposite over adjacent. So we have our opposite to be what? C, and our adjacent to be A. Now, all these ratios, they have their what? Inverse. The inverse of what? Sine is 1 all over what? Sine of theta, and that will give us what? The cosecant, cosecant theta, which is the same thing as saying hypotenuse over opposite, and that will be B all over what? C. And we together, then we have the inverse of this, that is 1 all over cos theta, and that will give us what? Secant uh, theta, and that will be hypotenuse over adjacent like this so we are going to have b over what a then we have the inverse of this also and that is one all over tangent then that will give us what cotangent 
cotangent of theta that will become what adjacent over opposite like this and that will become a, a all over what c all these are the trig ratio how are you going to know when to use them okay you can use the trig ratios if what you have a one angle and one side then you are looking for any other of the sides or you are trying to look for the other angle are we together Okay, so you can make use of the trig ratio there like that. So from this triangle now, this is the definition of the trig ratio. Remember, there are just three. For you to remember that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, you just remember the word so. And for you to remember that cos is adjacent to by hypotenuse, remember the word ka. And uh, for you to remember that tan is opposite to by adjacent, remember the word what toa. This means sine of the angle equal what? Opposite of hypotenuse. Cos of the angle equal adjacent over the hypotenuse. Tan of the angle equal opposite over the adjacent. Do we understand that now? Good. Okay, if we have understand that now, let's move to the next thing that we're supposed to know here. And that is the Pythagoras theorem. When you think about the Pythagoras theorem, that is another way of you solving your right angle triangle if you don't want to make use of the trig ratio. Or probably the trig ratio cannot be satisfied because maybe there is no angle, probably. Okay, you can now employ what the other method, which we refer to as Pythagoras theorem. So let's quickly look into that. So the Pythagoras theorem, what does the theorem state? Pythagoras theorem states that in the right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse equals sum of the square of the other two sides. That is, the sum of the square of the opposite and the adjacent. Okay? So, by definition, Pythagoras theorem states hypotenuse square equal opposite square plus uh, adjacent square. Okay? Sorry, please. Okay, so what's our hypotenuse? Our hypotenuse is B, so I have what? B square. <laughs> Sorry. And our opposite is what? C, and that is C square, plus our adjacent, and that is our A square. So this is Pythagoras theorem for this particular triangle. Then we have what we call Pythagoras triple. Pythagoras triple are those three digits whereby he, they, they satisfy this equation. But we are not going into that now. You can check math domain if you really want to know more about the Pythagoras triple. Remember, we are having this course as a basis for our calculus class. Is that taken? Okay? If that should be the case, this is what Pythagoras theorem states. So we now have two methods for solving what? A right angle triangle. When do we use what? Pythagoras theorem. When we have what? Two sides and we are looking for the third side to make use of what? Pythagoras theorem. Is that taken? Okay. Now we have no way to use Pythagoras theorem and the trig ratio. Now, let us now what? Establish some relationship between the ratios. Okay. Or before then, let's quickly look at some example on how to combine Pythagoras theorem and trig ratio or how to solve some question on this. Let's quickly look into that. Okay. Let's take for instance that uh, we are given that for example, if I say, if sine of theta equal 3 over 5, find the value, find the value of 1 cos theta, okay, let me say A, and B tan theta, and I'll see 1 minus sine theta and uh, d let me say sine theta minus cos theta okay divided okay let me put it like this sorry let's say d cos theta minus sine theta divided by cos theta plus sine theta let's quickly look at these four questions before we move on now we are told that if sine of theta is equal to 3 over 5, find the value of uh, cos theta, tan theta, 1 minus sine theta, and uh, cos theta minus sine theta divided by cos theta plus sine theta. If theta, if theta lies between 0 and uh, 90 degrees, 
This is telling you that what? If theta is an angle in a right angle triangle, are we together? Hmm? So let's quickly look into that. Now we have this solution now. Okay. How do we go about this? We first of all recall the definition of sine. So what is the definition of sine? Sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. So this will be equivalent to 3 over 5. Hence, we have that the opposite is 3 and we have that the hypotenuse is what? 5. So the third side that is missing is the adjacent. We don't know. Now, the question is, how do we get our adjacents? For us to get our adjacents, mind me, let me clean this. How can we get our adjacents? We draw what? A right angle triangle. Then we decide to put our angle somewhere. So this is A, B, and this is C, for instance. Okay? Then we say opposite, that is 3, hypotenuse, that is 5. Then we are looking for this place. Let's call it what? X. So using Pythagoras theorem, we have the hypotenuse square to equal opposite square plus uh, adjacent uh, square. Okay, so adjacent square is equals to hypotenuse square minus the opposite square. Okay, so we don't know our adjacent. That's what we are looking for. So our hypotenuse is 5, so we have uh, 5 square minus our opposite, that's 3, that's uh, 3 square. Okay, I don't know what the square of 5 will be and what the square of uh, 3 will be. But I know this is a difference of 2 squares. So I can just say this is 5 plus 3 and uh, this is 5 minus 3 like that. Hence, I will have that my adjacent square is equal to, this will give us what, 8. And this will give us what, 2. So 8 times 2, that's 16, like that. So, our adjacent is going to be the square root of 16. So, adjacent is square root of 16, and that is going to give us what? 4. It's going to be plus or minus 4, but because we are dealing with the size of a triangle, then we pick the positive. So, adjacent is now what? 4. Now, we can find what? Our cos, and the cos of theta will now become ka adjacent, which is 4, Divided by the hypotenuse, and that is 4 over 5, like that. And uh, the next one say tan of theta. So tan of theta will be what? Toa, opposite over adjacent, and that is 3 over what? 4. Are we together? Then the next one is uh, 1 minus uh, sine theta. Okay, mind me to clean this because of space. So 1 minus sine theta is going to be 1 minus uh, 3 over 5. Abi? So, this is over 1. We'll look for the LCM, and that is 5. So, 5 times 1, that is 5, minus what? 3 times 1, that's 3. So, we have this to be 2 over 5. So, the third one, 1 minus sine theta is uh, 2 over 5. And uh, the last but not the least, and that is going to be the difference of cos. That is, the value for cos theta minus uh, sine theta divided by cos theta plus uh, sine theta equal, what's our cos theta? That's 4 over 5 minus uh, 3 over 5 divided by 4 over 5 plus 3 over 5, like this. So this will give us uh, 1 over 5 divided by 7 over 5. Far, far, near, near. So we have 1 times 5 divided by 5 times 7. And our result is just 1 over 7. Like that. Okay, guys. That is how to solve some questions on the what? The trig ratio and the Pythagoras theorem. Do we understand that? If yes, let's move on. Okay? So... The next thing we need to understand now is the relationship that exists between the trig ratio. Let's talk about the first relationship, and that is the issue of complementary. Now, what is complementary angle? When you talk about the complementary angle, we said an angle, the complementary angle is an angle that sum, two angles that sum up to 90 degrees, they are said to be complementary. Okay, if I have alpha and uh, beta, that are complementary. It means 
the sum of alpha and beta is 90 degrees. Now, how can we now establish relationship between them? There's a way we can do that. Let's take, for instance, that I have what? A right angle triangle like this. And this is A and this is B, then this is C. This is going to be small b, small c, and now small a. Pay attention, please. Now, if this is theta, because we already know that the total angle in a triangle is 180. Now, this one is constant, 90 degrees. So, it means angle A and angle C, they have 90 degrees left to share. Now, if angle C is theta, then angle A will become what? 90 minus theta. Is that taken? Okay? Now, let us find the trig ratio of these angles. Let's start with that of theta. The sine of theta will be what? So, opposite over hypotenuse. Abi? Then the cosine of theta will be what? Ka adjacent over hypotenuse. Then the tangent of theta will be twa opposite over adjacent. Then the inverse of this, the cosec of theta will be B over C. And uh, the second of theta will be B over A. And the cot of theta will be A over C. Like that. Okay? We are done with the first part. Now let's look at the second word, the second angle, which is the sine of 90 minus theta. Sine of 90 minus theta will be so opposite over what? Hypotenuse. And the cos of 90 minus theta will be what? Ka adjacent over hypotenuse. And the tangent of 90 minus theta will be what? Uh, Twa opposite over adjacent. Like that. So the inverse will become cosec of uh, 90 minus theta. That will become B over A. And uh, the sec... The second of 90 minus theta, that will become B over C. And the cot of uh, 90 minus theta, that will be A over C. Now, guys, I want to establish a relationship between two angles that are complementary. And that's why I'm showing you this. Now, if you look at the board very well, you will see that uh, sine of theta is equal what C over what B. And cos of 90 minus theta is what C over B also. If you look at cos of theta, it is A over B. And if you look at sine of 90 minus theta, it is also A over B. Not only that, that shows that what whenever you have what alpha plus beta that equal 90 degree, then sine of alpha will equal to what cos of beta. And that's why you see that sine of theta equal what the cos of 90 minus theta. I'll be saying it now. So if this one is alpha and this one is beta, I can say that sine of this one is equal to cos of this. Do you understand this now? Okay? Then, which other thing can you observe? That if you look at tan of theta, it's the same thing as cot of 90 minus theta. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing this? Tan of theta, tan of theta is a toa opposite of adjacent. Then tan of this is toa opposite over adjacent. Okay? This is supposed to be A over C. Sorry. Huh, I was surprised. So this one is going to be C over A. Sorry for that marker error. Okay? So if you look at it, tan of theta, which is C over A, is the same thing as cot of 90 minus theta. Hence, sine the tan of theta is cot of 90 minus theta. It means tan and cot are complementary. Now look at the last one, which is uh, cosec. Cosec of 90 minus theta will be the same thing as what? Sec of theta. Have you seen it? You can see that they are equal. Hence, sec theta will become the cosec of 90 minus theta. And this will be the relationship that will exist between them when we have a complementary angle. Now, let's look at a question under this also. Are we together? Have you taken this down? Yes. Okay. I'll look like two questions under it before we call it a day on that. Then we'll look at the other concept under three. Now, look at this now. Solve the equation. Solve the equation. 
solve the equations. Okay, let me put S. Okay, the first one states that if I have sine of theta to equal cos of 3 theta, find the value of theta. Then the second one says if I have sine of 2 alpha equal cos of what? 3 alpha. Find the value of alpha. The third one, if I have sine of alpha equal cos of 22 plus alpha. Find the value of alpha. Just simple one. Okay, let's quickly see how we are going to do this. Okay, okay, let's see. The first thing students will write is solution. Let us also write solution. Okay, okay, solution. Now, sine of theta equal cos of 3 theta. Abi, for us to solve this question successfully, okay, let me write all these questions somewhere so that I can clean this. This is sine of 2 alpha equal cos of 3 alpha, and this is uh, sine of alpha equal cos of 22 plus alpha, like that. Okay? So I can clean this now, so that I can solve this. For me to solve this, the first thing I have to think is, how can I make these two to be equal? Because if these two can be equal, then the angle would also be equal. Because it's like you having base and base equal, then power and power will be equal. I'm not saying they are base. I'm just explaining so that you get what I mean. Now, I know I want to I want to substitute for what? For sine. Are we together now? So I'll now say sine of what? Theta. If I recall, you know it's going to become what? The cos of 90 minus theta. Hence, this and this what? They are equivalent. So in place of this sine theta here, I'll replace it with this. I'll now have what? Cos of 90 minus theta equal cos of what? 3 theta, like this. So this is cos, this is cos, automatically. 90 minus theta would equivalent to what? 3 theta. Are we together? So theta plus 3 theta will equal what? 90. So 4 theta, so 4 theta equal what? 90. Theta is 90 divided by what? 4. So theta is 22.5 degree, like this. Do we get this now? Okay, if we get this now, then let's go to the next question, number two. Do you understand this now? Just think on how this and this will be what? Equal. So this one will be easy for me. I can also substitute for cos. I know that I was going to ask. I can also substitute for cos. So cos will just become cos 3 theta equal what? Sine 90 minus 3 theta. And that is it. So I'll just use it to replace what? This. Then sine and sine will equal. Then I get my answer as the same thing as this. Are we there? Okay. So let's go to the second question on this. So, the second question on this says that uh, if I have a sine of 2 alpha to equal what? Cos of 3 alpha, like this. I want to solve this, okay? You know, the other time I substitute for sine, let's substitute for cos now. So, cos of 3 alpha will equal what? Sine of 90 minus 3 alpha. Are we together now? You just subtract whatever the angle here is from 90, then that will be your sine, mm? okay? So let's use this now to replace cos. So I'll then have what? Sine of 2 alpha to equal what? Sine of 90 minus 3 alpha. So this now will become 2 alpha equal 90 minus 3 alpha. If I collect the light terms, I will have what? 5 alpha equal 90. So alpha is 90 divided by what? 5. So, and that will be 18 degree, if I'm not mistaken. So alpha is 18 degrees so we solve the equation successfully like that okay guys the last one try the last one yourself and let me know what your results will be in the description box below so try the last one yourself okay let's move on to the last aspect of today's class before we move on in the next class and that is going to be the trig identities how recall this our previous uh, triangle where we have A, B, and C. And uh, we consider this place. Here is small c, small a, and small b. 
By Pythagoras' theorem, b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared. Remember this. Let's call this equation 1. Are we together? If this is equation 1, let us quickly recall the trig ratios that we have here. Then we have that uh, sine of theta is uh, opposite, which is c over a. Then cos of theta is sorry, c over b. And the uh, cos of theta is uh, a over b. Then tan of theta is uh, c over a. Then from here also, the cosec of theta is b over c. Then the sec of theta is uh, b over a. Then the cot of theta is a over c. Those are the cube ratios from here by definition, right? Thank you. Now, we want to generate the three words identities. Excuse me, please. I'm back. Okay, let's see. Now, for us now to get the three identities, let's see. If I divide through by b squared, what am I going to have? If I divide through by b squared, I'll be having what? a over b all squared plus c over b all squared equal 1. Like this, Abby. Now, a over b is what? a over b is cos of theta. So if I put cos of theta here, it becomes cos squared, right? So this is cos squared theta plus c over b. c over b is what? Sine theta. If I put it here, it becomes what? Sine squared theta. Hence, we can say cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is 1. No matter what the value of theta might be. So, from here, we can also say cos squared theta is 1 minus uh, sine squared theta. And from here, we can also say sine squared theta is 1 minus uh, cos squared theta. And this will be our first identity. Are we together? Okay? Let's write it at the corner there. Our first identity. Our first identity is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal 1. So from here, sine squared theta is 1 minus uh, cos squared theta. And cos squared theta is 1 minus uh, sine squared theta. Like that. Okay? What if in place of dividing through by b squared, I decide to divide through by a squared? What am I going to have? Let's see. If I divide this equation by a squared, I will have b squared over a squared equal 1 plus c squared over a squared. And this in turn equal b over a all squared equal what? 1 plus uh, c over a all squared. Are we together? b over a is what? b over a. Check. That's sec. So we have what? Sec squared theta to equal 1 plus c over a. That is tan. Abi? So we have what? Tan square theta. Like this. So this is the second identity. And from here, I can say sec square theta minus 1 is tan square theta. Or I'll say sec square theta minus tan square theta equal 1. Whichever one. That is our second identity. So let's put it here also. 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. Theta. So from there we can get something nice. Okay, then the third one Now The third one now that is the third identity remember this is b square equal a square plus c square now We have divided by b square a square now. Let's divide by what c square If I divide through by c square, what am I going to have? So I will have b over c r square to equal what a over c r square plus 1 now b over c is what? That's cosec. So I have a cosec square theta equal what? A over C. A over C, that's cot. So I have a cot square theta plus 1. So cot square theta is cot square theta plus 1, isn't it? So I can also say cot square theta is cosec square theta minus 1. Or I'll say that cosec square theta minus a cot square theta is equal to what? 1. Like that. So, that's our third uh, identity. I hope you are, you are following up. Okay? Let me quickly derive one out of this. Okay? So, uh, if I have the sine of theta divided by cos of theta, my result here is what? 
tan of theta. And how do I get that? Sine of theta is the same thing as saying what? C over B. Cos of theta is what? A over B. Far, far, near, near. So we have C times B divided by B times A. This and this will cancel. C over A is what we have. And that's equivalent to tan theta. So if I take it the other way around as cos theta divided by sine theta, then my result will be cos theta. Those are the three word identities. Let's solve like two to three questions under this. Then we call it a day on this topic. One minute, please. Okay. Uh, question one on this. Question one on this is going to be <clears throat> show that the question here says show that sec square theta co sec square theta equal sec square theta plus cosec square theta. Wow. The question here says we should show that if sec square theta multiply cosec square theta, then our result will be what? Sec square theta plus cosec square theta. Okay, guys? Let's see how we can go about that. We have enough thing to play with here than here. So let's play with this place. I can say the sec square theta times the cosec square theta is the same thing as saying 1 all over cos square theta. Do you agree with me? Because sec square is the same thing as 1 over what? Cosec square. Abi? Because sec is 1 over cos, right? And cosec is 1 all over what? Sine square theta, like that. So if I take the product of these two, I will have that sec square theta cosec square theta is 1 divided by cos square theta and the uh, sine square theta, right? Now, 1, remember, remember that sine square theta plus cos square theta is what? 1. So, instead of having 1 here, I can replace it with sine square theta plus what? Cos square theta. So, I have that sec square theta cosec square theta is sine square theta plus cosec, okay, let me put this first, sorry, cosec, sorry, cos square theta plus uh, sine square theta divided by cosec square theta, then sine square theta, like that, okay, if that should be the case, if that should be the case, I can recall and say sec square theta cos sec square theta is equal to cos square theta divided by cos sec square theta then sine square theta plus sine square theta divided by co cos square theta then sine square theta. Abi? Yes, now I split this division. So we are still on track. So if we are on track, this and this can cancel, and this and this can cancel. So I have that sec square theta, then cos sec square theta is the same thing as, let me change it and bring this one forward and this one backward. Because, okay, don't worry, let's just do it like this. So this is 1 over sine square theta plus 1 over cos square theta, like that. Hence, sec square theta, cosec square theta is, this one will give us cosec square theta plus, this one will give us sec square theta. Now, addition is commutative. 3 plus 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 3, right? No argue, yes. So this is what? Sec square theta, cosec square theta equal sec square theta plus cosec square theta, like this. Have you seen it? We have proved what they asked us to prove, and that's it. So if you are wrong, you know you are wrong. You don't need someone to mark you here. Is that taken? Let's look at one more question. One more question.
okay if we are to look at one more question here we have to show that uh, one minus uh, cos square theta divided by sec square theta minus one is one minus sine square theta are we together? We asked to show that 1 minus cos square theta divided by sec square theta minus 1 is the same thing as what? 1 minus sine square theta. This, is, this should be simple. Okay? Recall that 1 minus uh, cos square theta is the same thing as what? Sine square theta. And uh, sec square theta minus 1 is the same thing as what? Tan square theta. Are we together? Hence, 1 minus cos square theta divided by sec square theta minus 1 is equal to sine square theta divided by tan square theta, like this. Now, if you can recall tan square theta, this I can write this one as saying sine square theta times the sine square of theta divided by, okay? This is the same thing as saying 1 over and square theta to avoid mistake. Abi? Okay. We are still on track, right? Yes. So I can say 1 minus cos square theta divided by sec square theta minus 1 is now the same thing as saying sine square theta times the cos square theta divided by sine square theta. Since 1 over tan square theta is called square theta. And cos square theta is the same thing as saying cos square theta divided by sine square theta. Hence, this and this would cancel. So, if this and this should cancel, then we can now say that 1 minus cos square theta divided by sec square theta minus 1 is equal to what? Cos square theta. Remember, cos square theta is the same thing as 1 minus sine square theta. So, this is this. And uh, we have that 1 minus cos square theta divided by what? Sec square theta minus 1 is 1 minus sine square theta. Truly. Proof. Okay? I'm going to leave you with two exercises now. So, you try that on your own and see the beauty of trigonometry. Okay? <clears throat> okay, so the take home is show that if cos A plus sine A equal the square root of 2 cos A. That is, if cos A plus sine A equal root, a, root 2 cos A, show that Show that I want us to show that uh, cos cos a minus sine a is equal to the square root of two sine a. Yes, cos a plus sine a equal what root two cos a. So show that cos a minus sine a equal what root two sine a. Okay. Let me add one more. Okay, that is one. Two, show that one over one plus tan square theta plus one over one plus cot square theta equal to one. Thank you for watching. Please and please master your trig identity very well as it is the kernel of calculus. What really makes calculus beautiful or a bit complex or difficult is trigonometry. Once you understand all this now, you will be able to attempt any question in calculus successfully after you have been taught the concept of calculus. In our next class, we shall move on by looking at the multiple angle formulae. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly please click on the subscribe button. Please, I'm begging. I'm begging. I'm begging. Have a nice day, guys.